Okay, here we are, Matthew Russell Lee, Inner City Press, here, outside, in the cold, outside the Southern District of New York Courthouse. We're inside today, day two of trial two, Carroll versus Trump. Yesterday, he was here, seems like it might be today, many police all over the place. Now, we live tweeted the jury selection, and there were at least two juries, two prospective jurors who said the 2020 election had been stolen. Neither of them made it onto the jury. Then there were the opening arguments, and mo most memorably, I think, Trump's lawyer, Alina Haba, said that basically E. Jean Carroll got what she wanted. She got fame, she got the limelight. Now, many people are very offended. Uh, will it be effective with the jury? Unclear, unclear. In unsealing news, this is what we, we thrive on here as Inner City Press here. We had a win in this case of sexual abuse by Paduch. This is some pretty graphic, you look the case up. In Paduch, we uh, stood up to DOJ. They wanted to seal the um, surator, the bond signer for Paduch. We opposed it, and yesterday, Judge Abrams said it cannot be sealed, it must be revealed. You can find that one. Also, we filed to unseal in Menendez his motion to dismiss. Now the New York Times has joined, citing inner city breasts its initial filing. So the more the merrier. Let's see if it gets unsealed. In crypto news, today there's an oral argument in SEC versus Coinbase. Sure wish I'm going to do my best to cover that as well. Uh, but we can say that the SEC versus Terraform case has been pushed back to, let me get it, March 25th. And the, the Miles Guo case, which may or may not be a, considered a crypto case, has been pushed back to May 20th. At the United Nations, which we cover as well, although we're banned for having asked inconvenient questions, Yesterday, we asked about these eight new UN peacekeeper rapes. This is true. You can look it up. The UN puts this information on its website, but nobody they let in asked about it. We did, and they don't answer. But we won't rest. We've had a pro bono law firm write to them about the First Amendment. Some say it doesn't apply. We're saying, why should anyone fund an organization that talks about freedom of the press and bans the press? But that's an aside. We're going in. Watch this feed. Trump versus Carol versus Trump. Trial 2.